Listen, I've come to encourage you. God says, don't abandon the great plan. God says, don't abandon his great plan for your life. We've all had setbacks. We've all had repeated cycles. We've all at one time or another wanted to throw in the towel. I'm a witness. Blessings, fam, and welcome back to Inspirational Cafe. I'm your girl, Rochelle. Here is where I uplift, encourage, and I inspire. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to share, and please subscribe. Let's dig in. Listen, God says don't abandon the plan. Don't abandon God's great plan for your life. We've all felt at some time or another we wanted to give up to totally throw in the towel. If you have it, don't stop living because there will be a moment in time where you are just gonna simply wanna give up. We've all had setbacks. We've all had moments that we had to repeat cycles over and over. We felt disappointed, discouraged. We felt full of despair. But God says, when all, when all and everything is out of control, God says he's in total control. We must trust God's plan. We must trust and believe in everything that God has spoken over our lives. And yes, we're tempted to believe otherwise, that when everything is all out of control, that God isn't a present help. God is no way around. Like we don't have any help, but God says, remember, I am right by your side and I promise to never leave you, nor shall I forsake you. That's a promise that God has made to you and I. God says, even during those moments where you feel discouraged, trust me. God says, when you feel defeated, God says, trust my word. God says, when, you, when you're frustrated, when you feel alone and abandoned, God says, I'm right by your side because I promise you, that I am your burden bearer. I promise you that I am your heart fixer. I promise you that I am indeed your mind regulator. God says, don't abandon the great plan that I have for your life. Even during those moments where we feel like God is nowhere around. God isn't our center. Like we're all alone. We're afraid, we're uncertain. We don't even know which way to go or what to do. God says, but remember the plan. God says, remember the great plan that I have for your life. And that's to prosper you. That's to give you hope and a great future. God says, always remember the plan. The plan is great. We know that God's plan may not be the easiest, but it is the most successful. And it's what we need to move into our greater. God pushes us. Even during those painful moments, God's push, he pushed us from pain to purpose. God says, I am not concerned with your comfortability. God says, I'm not concerned with how comfortable you are. I'm building character. That means that I'm pruning you. I'm preparing you for greater. That means that yes, if you have to endure frustration, Every single day of your life it's growing you. It's developing you into who I'm purposing you to be because the great plan doesn't come without struggle. The great plan doesn't come without frustration. The great plan doesn't come without feeling disappointed, defeated at times, feeling full of despair. That's a part of the great plan. But God says, don't abandon the great plan. God says, push yourself into greater. Continue to believe that I'm right there by your side. I'll never leave you. Even though at times it feels like, it feels like I have abandoned you. But God says, remember, I made you a promise. God says, I made you a promise and I am a God that keeps every promise that I made to my children. To my children, to my servants to 
to my warriors, to my conquerors. God says, remember the great plans. Don't abandon. Don't abandon the plans or the promises that God has made to you. God wants you to believe totally in everything that he's promised you. That means that all the plans that he, you've written out, that you know God has spoken to you about, God says, even though they haven't been manifested as of yet, never stop believing. God says, don't allow your fear to overshadow your faith and make you believe that I am a God that's, that lies to you. Because God says, I promise you that I've, if I've spoken it over your life, it shall come to pass. But you must only remain faithful in believing every promise that I made to you. God says, don't abandon the plan. Don't abandon God's great plan for your life. You're too close now to your destiny. You're too close to all that God has purposed for, for you and your life at this particular time. God says, don't allow moments of feeling defeated, feeling discouraged, feeling disappointed to make you believe that there isn't a great plan for your life. God says, continue to believe and move forward into your greater. God says, don't abandon the great plan. I just want to encourage someone right now. I don't know who I'm speaking to. God is saying, don't abandon all that I've promised you because of moments of feeling frustrated, having struggles from day to day. As long as you live, you, there will be a struggle of some sort. I don't care what, there will be a struggle. There will be many tests. There will be trials on every side. Every time you turn around, there will be unusual and difficult circumstances. But God says, I am right here by your side. Affirm daily that God declared. He says that we're more than conquerors. That means that whatever we go through, God is right there with us. He's pushing us into greater. Yes, we have to struggle at times. Yes, we have to feel like we've been defeated at times. But that's a part of the process. That's a part of the shaping, molding you and making you into all that God has purposed you to be. Because guess what? The plan doesn't come without struggle. The plan doesn't come without hardship. The plan doesn't come without moments of feeling disappointed. Anything worth having is worth fighting for. And that means that even in the great plan, there will be moments where you feel like it's too much. But God says, always remember the great plan that I had for my son, Jesus Christ, and all that he had to endure. We know that God, oh my God, Jesus had to endure so much more than you and I could ever imagine or think. And God says, we have to take up our cross. That means every single day of our lives. We have to take up our cross of defeat. We have to take up our cross of feeling discouraged. We have to take up our cross of feeling disappointed, feeling lonely, feeling like we're all in this alone, all by ourselves and we have no help. But God says, take up that cross and keep moving forward. Continue to believe that God is right there with you because guess what? You and God are all you need. You and God are the majority. You and God are enough. God says, continue to believe in the great plan. Don't abandon it. You're too close to your greater to give up now. I just want to encourage someone to believe wholeheartedly in the plan that God has purpose for your life. God says, I know the plan. The plan has always been great. Jeremiah 29 and 11. My favorite scripture. I know the plans. The plans are extraordinary. The plans are exceptional. The plans are great. But they're only that if you believe it wholeheartedly. God already, he already 
written out the great plan for you. All you have to do is trust and believe and move forward into all that God has purposed you to do. God says, don't abandon the great plan, but trust wholeheartedly every day that you're closer step by step to everything that God promised you. I just want to encourage you to remain faithful in God's great plan for your life. And I assure you that God will do exceedingly, abundantly, and above all you can ever think or imagine because God loves you so very much. I just want to encourage you to never stop believing in the great plan. And please don't abandon God's great plan for your life. But proceed. Proceed and move forward into your grief. I love you all so very much. I am Rochelle. This is Inspirational Cafe. Until next time, be blessed.